What have you made of today's Twitter action, trade action, and market action? I, the, the, my only reaction, I, I mean, I think with regards to China, I think they're being rational and they're responding to escalation from the United States in kind in the way that they're able to do so. Um, and they clearly were very successful at it. I mean, the, the president throwing a temper tantrum on Twitter and describing a return to a command economy is not something that's happening if he's getting what he wants. And I mean, I think it's a great encapsulation of how ridiculous this whole saga has gotten. Um, I, it's not going to be good for the markets long term. We've seen time and again in this presidency, the market sort of outperform what, what people thought they they might initially do. Um, people thought initially that uh, 2016 was going to be a huge problem for the U.S. equity markets long term, and we ended up seeing large personal and corporate tax cuts that fueled a lot of gains, a global synchronous economic upturn in 2017 that, that helped markets out. Um, but now those things aren't in play anymore, and you know, how much do you want to be going out and buying relatively risky assets um, when bonds have great charts and when the president is saying crazy stuff on Twitter every day with at the slightest provocation. I, I think it makes perfect sense that we're seeing stocks sell pretty regularly on this kind of information. So George, talk to me about the sell-off that we're seeing. Is today a day where you think it's a buying opportunity because we've just sold off about two to three percent? Or do you go to cash because frankly, we're one tweet away from another three percent drop? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the problem with managing the kind of risk that you see from, you know, the White House Twitter account or the president's Twitter account being the source of what happens next in the market, the problem with that is there's, there's no model for it, right? If I think the, the economy is about to tip into recession, the Fed's tightened too much, and that, you know, corporate earnings are about to fall dramatically, well, okay, I can have a long-term plan for that, and I can adjust to market conditions as they go along. I can sell rips, and um, or I can sell uh, dips if I want, I can sell rips if I want, I can plan out what I'm going to do when what you're waiting for is essentially a roll of the dice as to how the president slept the night before and how many Diet Cokes he's had fueling whether he tweets or not. Right. I mean, how are you supposed to manage that risk? Um, our focus really is on individual companies. Investors really need to be focused on what risks they want to be exposed to. And the noise from the White House is going to be what it is. If you think the economy is going to continue expanding, we'll be in good shape. Okay, great. Go buy the stocks that you think are going to benefit from that and do your best to ignore what's going on in the White House because there's nothing you can really do the hedge it.